Greetings, Stan Daniels here. This is a quick demonstration of GitHub Copilot, which is installed, GitHub Copilot. I plan to show you how to create a very simple uh, web UI on your local machine. <clears throat> I'm using Visual Studio Code. Uh, okay, Visual Studio Code, which one is this? This is 166. So let's get started. First thing you definitely want to make sure you do is save the file. File, save as, <clears throat> and we'll call this um, new, uh, we'll call this local flask age dot py and there we go so <clears throat> let's describe what we want we want a we want to create a web server using the flask framework and you saw that gray text it was automatically created for me by the github tool so um, what else do i need to do i need to import all modules let's see what does it say all modules needed all right and let's see what happens if i start uh typing from uh okay it wants to import cgit i don't know what that is and let's go ahead and ah <clears throat> and you see it just supplied from flask import flask i hit the tab key to accept all of that so we're looking pretty good now, next, I'm going to use, I'm going to create web pages or HTML. Um, yeah, I'm going to use HTML string for the web page. That's good. And, oh, look at that. Use the CSS for the styling. And I'm going to use, look at that. It's using a black font. I'm going to go with a, yeah, black font. And let's say Arial. I like Arial. And enter. The background is light blue. We'll go with the background is light gray. And you can see that <clears throat> GitHub is supplying almost all of this automatically. So, uh, and the text is black. That's good. I like all of that. Now, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. use the CSS. We're good with that. And now let's go ahead and create our HTML file. HTML. Uh, okay. Yeah, HTML equals. And there it goes. You see it added the three uh, quotation marks for me. I'm very pleased. And moving on. Now, okay, it goes ahead and adds the doc type for me. I'll accept that. HTML as the top and it should now supply the head which it does and i'm going to go ahead and add those because it's just bothering me uh, we'll add the meta chart set and just see what it supplies <clears throat> style is good body is good uh, background color light gray and you can see i specified that right here and enter tab font family it picked up the um, picked up the arial i don't know why arial times maybe that's part of it i'm not sure uh, let's tab and it's accepted <clears throat> and font size is large which i did not specify I didn't specify that, but that's okay, I guess. And that should do it. So uh, I'll go ahead, uh, align center. Did I specify align center? No, I did not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close that off. Now, uh, I need to <clears throat> close off the style. You see that it did that for me. That's great. And now we get into uh, we need to close the head. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it closes it for me. 
And now we should start with a body. Very good. <clears throat> hello world. Uh, hello world from a co-pilot AI coding assistant. I'm going to go with that. And what else do we have? Now, um, do I want to add a form at this point? No, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as it is. And let's go ahead and get the, uh, get the, the next part of our code ready. And that requires, that requires us to, uh, we're going to go ahead and create the Flask instance. So create a Flask object, I guess, and app equals Flask name. Very good. We're, <clears throat> we're cooking with gas, as they used to say. And our next step is to uh, let's think about this. We need to create a simple endpoint, create a simple web page, I guess. Okay, we'll go with that. And we'll go ahead and start it at root, at root slash. And then <clears throat> let's call the the function f index return HTML and HTML is right up here. So we're good with that. And let's go ahead and run the server. So let me go down a little further so you can see it. Run. run the web server and now it should give us okay run the flask object see what happens next okay if name equals main we like that and app run debug true is all good and what happens next we should be able to run the application. So let's go ahead and run it. Control S to save. Control F5 to turn on the uh, <clears throat> server and run it. Here is our web page. Control C. Uh, okay, to, to open it, Control plus click. So click. And let me drag my web page over so that you can see it. And there it is. So that, that is my URL, 1207-5000. Obviously, this is a local instance, so it's not you're not going to find this on any web page uh, on the internet necessarily. Uh, but let's go ahead and make sure that what we're doing here is, in fact, happening in real time. Now, the body tag is font size large. So let's go ahead and my CSS is terrible. Let me see if I can modify the CSS. So we'll say H1. H1 is, um, is centered. All right. I'm, I'm just going to go with that. I don't know if that is, uh, if that is exactly what I want, but H1 is right there. So let's go ahead and uh, here are the CSS commands. So let's see what happens if I type H1. Text align center. Now, yeah, it's right there. H1 is centered. So when I click that, it should now uh, add it. And now let's go ahead and say, 
uh, H2 is right justified. All right, we like that. Now we go back into our CSS and type H2, text line right. It's working. So uh, detected change by reloading, restarting with stat, debugger is active, debugger pin, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that doesn't mean our web page has been refreshed, though. So let's take a look. Oh, and I need to add an H2 in here, of course. Let's go ahead and type an H2. H2. Um, here is an H2. Tag. Oh, look at that. It finished it for me. Control S. And now I'll go ahead and refresh the code. That should restart everything. I may not actually have to do that, but that's what I did. And same URL. Here is the code, refresh the page. And it, well, it didn't write justify. That's left justified. Okay, H2, why didn't it, why didn't it write, ju write justify? And this is not centered either. So we have a couple of small, small problems here with the CSS. You can see that the H2 is not right and the H1 is not centered and it's not changing. So I need to go into my CSS and figure out why doesn't work but all that being said and done with just what maybe five minutes I've created a very basic uh, web page <clears throat> using flask and github copilot so thank you for watching and happy computing